Orange County. We're down here in beautiful Crystal Cove. Now, for those of you who haven't had a chance to come check out these cottages since the state opened them up two years ago, you're going to have an opportunity this Saturday. If you're looking for something to do, they have a guided tour coming through starting at 10 o'clock. In order to give you a taste of what it's like down here, we actually chatted with some of the residents who are going to tell us what it's like staying here. We've been here before when they were renovating it, and we wanted to come back now to see how it's changed. <coughs> and we had breakfast at the Beachcomber, and it was delightful. Wonderful. The food was great and ample, and we couldn't have asked for more. I, I'm constantly trying to book this place, and whatever days I'm able to book, we just uh, take the days off from work, and we're here. And what's it like here? Can you sort of describe what your stay has been like? It's beautiful. We woke up this yeah. morning, and the dolphins were out, and they were just bouncing around and swimming out there, and smell the ocean, and you're just right in the sand, and it's yeah. not home, but it's California at its best. <laughs> yeah. If you want to know more about these beautiful cottages, come down on Saturday at 10 o'clock for a guided tour. And for more information, make sure you go to ocregister.com slash beaches. I'm going to turn it over to Surf Junkie Jeff, who's going to give us the weekend surf report and the latest beach happenings. Thanks, Lee Lawn. Well, it's a big weekend for Southern California amateur surfers. The National Scholastic Surfing Association's last regular season Southwest Conference Open takes place this Saturday and Sunday at Oceanside. The event, which was originally scheduled a few weeks ago, was suddenly canceled due to that fatal shark attack off Solana Beach. Now taking a look at the waves for this weekend, Surfline forecasters say we should see a decent dose of action. On Saturday, they're calling for a fair amount of south swell to fill in throughout the day with a little northwest wind swell in the mix. Most OC beaches should see need of chest high waves with the top spots pulling shoulder high plus sets. On Sunday, that south swell is supposed to build a little bit more with some lingering northwest wind swell still in the mix. Most OC beaches can expect waist to shoulder high waves with the focal points pulling head high sets. And if you haven't heard, that water temp is on the rise, so definitely dust off that 3-2 full suit with most spots hanging between 60 and 63 degrees. For more surf happenings, go to ocregister.com slash beaches. For Daybreak OC, I'm Jeff Malenka.